In wake of rising demand for antiviral drug Remdesivir used for coronavirus treatment, homegrown drug major Cipla has ramped up its capacity and that of its partner network to fill the demand supply gap. Last month, the company launched the generic version of Gilead Sciences' antiviral drug Remdesivir under its brand name Cipremi. Indian IT services sector is likely to see up to 3% contraction in its revenues in the financial year 2020-21 as global spread of the coronavirus epidemic has resulted in simultaneous supply and demand shocks. In long term, the sectoral growth has been pegged between 5 to 8% over the FY20-FY25 period according to domestic rating agency ICRA. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has reviewed the implementation of the recently announced insurance scheme for health workers battling COVID-19 and emphasized the need for speedy settlement to help reach the benefits to the nominees at the earliest. The Rs 50 lakh insurance scheme is a part of the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan package announced in March for three months for 22.12 lakh public health care providers including community health workers who may have to be in direct contact and care of patients suffering from the infection and who may be at risk of being impacted by this. The United States has the biggest COVID-19 testing program in the world, better than big countries like Russia, China, India and Brazil, President Donald Trump said yesterday, asserting that America has just about the lowest mortality rate due to the disease in the world. More than 34 lakh Americans have tested positive for COVID-19 so far and over 1,37,000 have died due to the disease, both of which are the largest numbers among all the countries. yesterday announced an investment of $10 billion in India. The tech giant announced that Rs 75,000 crore or $10 billion digitization fund will be utilized over next five to seven years. It will be done via a mix of equity investments, partnership and operational infra and ecosystem investment. The development comes after a virtual meeting between the Prime Minister and Alphabet Chief Sundar Pichai earlier in the day. According to Google, this investment will help realize PM's vision of a digital India. As Karnataka decided to shut Bengaluru urban and rural districts from July 14 till July 22nd morning, owing to exponential increase in the number of COVID-19 cases, micro, small and medium enterprises in the state fear that this extension could cause irreparable damage to the already fragile industries. As export-oriented industries have started getting orders, companies fear that extension would result in cancellation of orders and disrupt the supply chain.